If you want to upgrade your computer to Windows 10, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually download it to your computer. You can actually go to Microsoft.com forward slash Windows 10. I'll leave a link in the description and it'll take you to this web page. All right, you click on get Windows 10. And if you're using an um, older operating system, well, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, it would actually give you the prompts to uh, download the files and then you can upgrade from there. And it'll also give you an option to create bootable media. So you can actually do a fresh install of Windows 10 by, by doing it that way. There is an option to upgrade your computer through the Windows update, but you can't do a clean install if you do it that way. So since I am already running Windows 10, I can't show, show you exactly how it looks like because it's just going to tell me that I'm already running Windows 10. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you on a laptop that I just upgraded and I'm going to show you how it's done. Windows 10 is currently downloading. Right now, 21%. Be back when it's done. Okay, the download finally finished. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept on the license terms. And, you know, I will be using a screen capture software, but the computer is going to be rebooting a number of times, so that wouldn't be an option. I'm currently using a kind of a mid-grade HP Pavilion G6. It's shipped with a Windows 0.8. It's running uh, AMD. I'm not sure which processor. It's not a. It's not a super fast machine by any means. Okay, right now I'm doing a upgrade. So I don't know if you can make this out in the video, but it says install Windows 10 Pro. Keep personal files and apps. So anything I have installed on here, any applications, is going to stay on the computer. So for the most part, that's a good thing. Could be a bad thing if you've got a computer full of viruses. But in this case, this is actually a pretty new install. So it's not too much of anything on this laptop. So I'm going to just go forward with install. And... At the top it says, your PC will restart several times. This may take a while. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video again. As you can see, at least if you can see that in the bottom left hand corner, it says copying files. It's currently at 3%. Installing features and drivers. And overall it's just doing a few things. As you can see in the middle of the screen, it says 0%. So all of this is going to take a little while. This is definitely something you want to do when you have at least two hours to uh, not use your computer and kind of come back and check in and click a button here and there. But for the most part, this is a pretty seamless process and painless. And this would be my third computer upgrade into Windows 10 and for the other two I had absolutely no problems. I don't expect to have any problems with this one. And that's looks like it's done installing for the most part. And I'm thinking I only have to press about four buttons in the whole process. I pressed absolutely nothing from the last take. So I'm go ahead and sign in. All right, so let's see, use express settings. I'm gonna go with that. Next, all this stuff. It says this won't take long. Setting up your apps. I would imagine if you have a lot of programs installed, this part will take longer. If you have very few programs, this probably won't take very long. Okay, and Windows 10 for the first time on this laptop is up and running.
If you liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.